John Ryan has done his job tonight pinning the Eskimos deep and that's where they begin at the five yard line first down for Ricky Ray deep in Edmondson territory Ray wide open target here's a big first down it's Jason Tucker in a foot race Tucker could go all the way and he'll have an escort a hundred and five yards Ricky Ray, Jason Tucker, that's how quickly the Eskimos can score. Well, it starts out with a busted coverage. And after the bust, and Ricky Ray recognizes it, it's going to come over here to this side of your screen. Busted coverage, the only reason that Jason Tucker is this wide open right down the middle of the field. He's right on the numbers. Now it's one-on-one, -on -one and watch the speed from Jason Tucker as he outruns the angle from Wes Lysak, and then when Lysak dives, he takes out his teammate and the official, and Tucker is escorted by Mookie Mitchell into the end zone. And that's a mismatch when you've got your safety covering that deep in some ways. There's not quite as much speed from Lysak as, as the other members of the Blue Bombers secondary. Well, you know, Wes Lysak comes from the middle of the field, and, and he will get blamed for that because he was a guy who missed him at the end. But that was a problem at that side. The left side of the defensive secondary, Justin Coleman playing over there with William Fields, and, and that was a busted coverage. Tucker's wide open. Now Lysak's got to go over and try and make a play, and he just can't catch up to Jason Tucker. It all starts with recognition from the quarterback, Ricky Ray. <laughs> Made it look easy there as he demonstrated how he just lofted the ball for Jason Tucker. And 105 yards for the touchdown. And an injury timeout. The side jug. This is this is Lysak taking out Coleman and there right there. The official goes down as well. And then Tucker can just hit his stride as he goes to the end zone. That one will slide into the Edmonton Eskimo record book. The longest reception for a touchdown prior to that, 102 yards. Damon Allen to the gizmo. Henry Williams, 102. So Tucker has the Eskimo record in combination with Ricky Ray. 105 yards for that touchdown. Starts with recognition from Ricky Ray, and here's what he sees on this angle. Ricky Ray is looking at that corner of the of the field right here, and he sees the opening because up, up top, Justin Coleman and William Fields have both jumped the short route. It's a zone defense, and one zone has been void from Coleman. Now you can see Coleman. It's always the guy who's made the mistake that's in chase. Justin Coleman was... Yeah, he was chasing there. And couldn't catch. And as you Mr. pointed Tucker. out, Lysak had moved in to try and save a little face for the Blue Bomber secondary, but Tucker was all over it. 105 yards later, he's into the end zone. It's 17 to 1, Edmonton. And the injured side judge, Hines Braidman, is back in the lineup for the guys in the stripes. Hines Braidman took a bit of a leg whip there in the bottom of that pile, went down, and side judge is okay and good to go. Expecting a little something from Keith Stokes tonight? Well, we all have been, and he's been stopped in his tracks much of the evening. So ready to return now to try and get the Bombers back into this instead of down by 16. 